By the gods, this is a good start. Where did these people set up their tent? <sighs> if there's nothing around the next bend, I'm turning around. Finally. Hey you, little girl. Giacomo Nauta sent me. I'm here about the riddle. Um, do you speak Goretti? I'm a friend. Giacomo told you I would come. He spoke of the hero of Andergast, a strong, courageous and clever man. Not someone I can slice open from head to foot in the blink of an eye. I am the hero of Andergast. Can you do magic? Heal things with fairy magic? The way the hero healed the dreams of an Andergastrian was magic? It wasn't quite like that, but yes. I can repair things magically. Then prove it. This before me is the flying fortress Kashal Ri. I recreated it from my dreams. But no matter what I do, it keeps tipping over. Use your magic to make it stand up, and I'll let you see my father. Piece of cake. What are you doing? Don't worry, I just want to try something. Oh! May I go in now? Papa, there's someone here claiming to be a hero. Send him in. If you truly are the hero, then you're a bit boring. You remind me more of a stupid, grumpy peasant. I'm a bird catcher and I no longer care what others think of me. I rescued a fairy and I freed a kingdom. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. Alright, alright, go in. But watch your back, I'm right behind you. Ah, Geron, how nice. Come, sit. Sit! Are you Fahi? Yes, sit down. Did you find this place all right? Yeah, yeah. I was told that you sell a spell that can permanently change a person's form. A person's? Or an animal's? But everything in its time. Tea? All right. Ah, a man of taste. That's good. Andergast is cold, is it not? It's all right. But about that spell... Of course. You understand that permanent physical transformation is a formidable power. It demands a great deal of courage to request such power. I have my reasons. I know. Giacomo told me as much. You know my price. Giacomo said something about a riddle. Correct. You like riddles, Geron, don't you? Of course I like riddles. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Excellent! I knew I could count on you. You'll carry it with you for a while, twist it and turn it in your mind, and perhaps even despair briefly. But when you finally solve it, the reward will be much sweeter. Where did you get this riddle anyway? For more than three moons, my daughter and I have both had the same dream every night. It's even more wondrous that this dream tells a true story, a memory from a time 450 years ago, when our world faced its greatest battle. I will now tell you the beginning of the dream. You don't need to know more. And then, the riddle. If you can solve it, you'll receive the power to restore your beloved. And if not? Garon, you are the hero of Andergast. Of course you'll solve it. So... Are you ready? I'm ready. Good. The dream begins, as I said, 450 years ago, in an ancient vault far beneath my home city of Fazar. The powers of darkness threaten the land, and the great and decisive battle is imminent. When one night, a group of heroes enters the tomb of an ancient mogul mage,
Prepare yourselves. I shall open the burial chamber now. Are we all here? All here, for crying out loud. It could have been worse. Sure, we could have lost the mute Varkina too, or the dainty princess who can't fight. <sighs> Calm yourself, Shabib. You're not the only one whose nerves are frayed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did the princess have to see a little blood? Did it break her tender heart? Yes. Crack. Now you'll have to endure me without one. Princess Zadja, Alric, we must stick together. The legendary mask of Malachar lies within this burial chamber. If we succeed in bringing it to the Holy Army in the Rashtulian War, the battle against the demons will be mere child's play. If we succeed, and these walls don't swallow us up first. I'm working as fast as I can. Uh, I can't find the lock. Give me a moment. It has to be here somewhere. Why did the Furkina people cast you out? None of your business. True. Your past is your problem alone. All that counts is that you lead us safely through the mountains to the army. I just want my money, and soon. Do you have a death wish? You saw what kind of creatures are running around out there. If this is what the princesses in this country are like, I would hate to see the kings. Don't worry. You won't. The last Caliph of Fazar was skinned alive five moons ago. Was he a tyrant? Yes. Like every ruler in this city. Besides... What? Did you see the tattoo on her arm? I believe it's the mark of Malachar. She's a direct descendant. We brought the great, 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 great granddaughter of an accursed mogul mage monster into his burial chamber. Are you out of your mind? She's a good person, trust me, and we'll soon need her. Who will see you down here? Who will worship you? Pay homage to you? Very soon, I'll be a thousand times greater than you ever were. And unlike you, I won't end up in a dark hole. The legacy of these hands held me prisoner my whole life. But today, I will finally free myself. Oh, Kasim, you'll regret what you've done to me. I don't deserve to return. Not without the mask. Who will see you down here? Who will worship you? Pay homage to you? Very soon, I'll be a thousand times and un- It would take too long to get him down. We're running out of time. Our rope. If only we had noticed the Guardians from the other side. No, oh, Just listen to yourself. How pathetic you are. Harun had to die. We all have to be prepared to die. That's the sacrifice we must make in order to rise above our miserable existence.
stand aside. Under no circumstances should you touch the door. Fine, then you'll have to do it. What do you think you're doing? There is no hidden mechanism. The door is just filthy. Brush it off and you'll find your lock. Hmm? Step back. The six legs open the six locks. By all twelve gods! This is going so well. Relax. I know you just want to help, but I can manage. We'll have to glue it. I'm not touching that. It looks sticky and poisonous. Now the blade is sticky. Here, glue the leg with this. It's ready. Do you see the glowing inscription, Ulrich? Ancient Tula Media is a dead language spoken only by a very few, by even fewer, since the spiritual leaders of this city were executed together with their caliph. One must be educated to read this script. Educated, like a child from a noble family. Educated, like the last princess of Fazar. That's the reason we brought you. Now, tell me. What's the answer to the riddle on the chamber? The gods be with me. What? What do you read? I can't tell you. It would change too much. This is why we brought her? I don't understand. Princess? Princess, where are you? By the twelve, it's dark. I'm over here. Ah! Ow! Watch out for the beetle key when you leave. It's lying on the ground along with the door. If it breaks, we'll be locked in here. What's that smell? Alric! Don't come in! There's gas in the air! Shine the torch carefully through the door, but stay outside, and no magic! Astral energy could trigger a trap. Be careful where you set foot, princess. Difficult without light. If you know a way to make light without fire or magic, then tell me. <laughs> that should be enough. My hand. I'll take the incense stick and the bowl. By the... Is that it? Yes. Yes, that's it. The Mask of Malachar. With that, we will win the battle against the demons once and for all. I am a guardian. Guard the door. If the beetle key is damaged, we'll be locked in here. <laughs> Come on then. Yella. Kill me. My life isn't worth much anyway. Weakling.
There's nothing here. Anywhere. And since the attacker stepped on the beetle, the exit is now locked tight. The flames in his eyes are hot. The bandage is now soaked with blood. Now that's just uninspired. I'll put the bloody bandage in the bowl. Welcome, sh <gasps> What was that? Who are you? What are you doing in my head? Hello? You must touch me if you want to hear me, Sharizad. Are you a demon? To be honest, Sharizad, I have no idea. I can't remember. All at once, I was here, in the dark, chained fast, countless centuries ago. You're lying. Not at all. I've seen the rise and fall of every moat of dust in this chamber. It's only my own story that I don't know. Open that door. You can do that, can't you? I'm afraid not. No. Then what can you do? I can light the braziers and extinguish them, and I can give orders to the Guardians. Awaken the Guardians and order them to tear down the gate. But then you'll run away and leave me behind. Many millennia will pass before another princess stumbles into the cave. You know who I am? Yes, I heard your talk outside the burial chamber. What would you say to another pact? I'll help you get out of the burial chamber, and you'll take me with you. Princess and court magician, mistress and servant, together we'll conquer the world. Deal. What? Really? Who would be stupid enough to free a frightening creature like me so carelessly? I take what I can get. You frighten me. Light the torches. Let us do that together, Sharizad. Turn your bright eyes upon the darkness. And concentrate. As long as you're touching me, you can speak to me. But you can also cast my spell. Behold the glories of my master's final resting place. By my ancestors. You're beautiful. So we have an agreement? Yes, yes, yes we do. Good. Why do I hear you in my head? That comes from your blood, which you sacrificed to me. I've made a pact with a demon? Forgive me. I should have warned you beforehand. <laughs> 